writer of all things home at Marty's Musings blog. However, because my life took an unexpected turn, this YouTube channel is about my personal journey through HIV and AIDS. My goal in making these videos is to educate about HIV in women and to face the stigma head on instead of hiding. You can watch my first video, which tells my story of contracting HIV from my husband of 35 years. I'm certainly not your typical HIV patient, but I believe I'm not alone. The best way you can support me is to subscribe to this channel, share with others, and leave comments. Together, we can change the conversation around HIV and AIDS in women. My hope is by sharing my story, other women will learn about the possibility of getting HIV and what you can do if you are indeed HIV positive. Let's talk more about HIV itself. There's a lot of basic information I want to share, but let me just say I'm not a doctor or a scientist. I'm just a gal who has gone through heartbreak and wants to educate about the virus and attack the stigma surrounding it. So what is HIV? HIV, the human immunodeficiency virus, is a virus that attacks cells that helps the body fight infection. This makes a person more vulnerable to other infections and diseases. When I was diagnosed, my CD4 count, which is one of the means for diagnosing AIDS, was undetectable. Not a good thing. I had no defense against the virus or any other condition. So how do you get it? It's spread by contact with certain bodily fluids, such as blood, semen, and vaginal fluids of an HIV positive person, most commonly through unprotected sex or through sharing injection drug equipment. It can be passed from mother to child during pregnancy, but the chance has lessened with education. How do you not get it? By mosquitoes, ticks, or other insects, they don't carry HIV, through saliva, tears, or sweat, by hugging, shaking hands, sharing toilets, sharing dishes, or closed mouth or social kissing with someone who has HIV, through other sexual activities that don't involve the exchange of bodily fluids, for example, touching, through the air. Lots of people are uninformed about how you get it, and I admit I was as well. I don't know anyone else or I didn't know anyone else at the time that was HIV positive. So getting this information and being able to share it with my family and friends was extremely helpful. The history of AIDS, you can look that up online and I'm not really gonna go into it, but I will say in the mid eighties, I was doing theater shows and I had several gay friends and the virus was just becoming known. And all I heard was it, that it was a gay disease. And that's, a, what a stigma to put on a group of people and promote fear to get them from being tested. One of my main goals of this channel is to encourage HIV testing regardless of sex, color of skin, or age. Today, of the more than 1.1 million people living with HIV in the U.S., 258,000 or 23% are women. Does that surprise you? It sure did me. And why is this a big deal? Because for many of us women, the idea of getting tested is a ridiculous notion. Until it's not. If left untreated, HIV can lead to the disease AIDS, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. This is where I find myself today with a diagnosis of AIDS because my immune system hasn't recovered in spite of being treated for two full years. The human body can't get rid of HIV and no HIV cure exists, although there are helpful research studies being done. So once you have HIV, you have it for life. However, effective treatment with HIV medicine called antiretroviral therapy or ART is available I'll talk more about treatment and medical issues in a later video. As a last note, I know there are different schools of thought on HIV because I've researched the subject to death, but I know that I'm a female in my 60s, previously in a 35 year marriage and with none of what is considered risky behavior. 
Just because I didn't fit into a certain category didn't mean I couldn't get it. This may seem like a lot of technical information, but I'm trying to simplify the medical jargon I read online. Hope this helps. And remember to share, share, share. Lastly, know that you are not alone in whatever crisis you may be experiencing today. Sending hope and much love to each of you. Thank you.